this is unlimited forms, unlimited responses, unlimited free. How freaking cool. Hello, 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 everybody. Jeremy Redman here with a really cool update. We've been working on like how how many things we can integrate task magic within MailLead because we're so happy and proud of both. Okay. Make sure you hop on the mail lead um, LTD. I think Steven has some left. I don't know. Also, if you're in the Facebook group, come in our school community um, that I will share with you here. Okay, cool. So here's how we roll. Okay. You tell us things that aren't working and we fix it. <laughs> okay. This is with mail lead. Oh, cool. Notice that some of the elements are... Oh, cool. Yeah, everything fixed. Amazing. This was the point of giving away the mail lead uh, LTD was getting the first few dozen, 50, 60, 70, 80, maybe 100-ish people. I love to count things. It was to get your feedback before we really start blowing it up, okay? And get your help to get other people on here. One of the coolest things that we have here um, is how we integrate task magic into mail lead. And one of the coolest things that we have is forms. And we didn't really know what to do with the forms app. It's an app inside of Task Magic. And now it is mail lead forms. So if you go to your mail lead dashboard and you click on automations, right? Then you click on new flow, okay, from scratch. So you can select a trigger. And now you will be able to search mail lead. Right, you have the mail lead regular app, which is triggers and triggers here, um, and some actions with the mail lead thing. CRM coming soon, um, and then you have here. So go to mail lead forms. All right. So here you set up the trigger, and it's on form submission. So now you go to build your form, and you build it right here on this right side panel. So you can come here, and you you have your form fields. Okay. So field one, say you want first name. Okay. That's field name and you want it to be text. Okay. Field description, just first name. I don't know. Okay. And that is required. All right. So then you have add field. So you can add another field. So we'll make this email. Okay. So that is a text field, field description, email. That is also required. Let's say we're setting this up for a support form. Okay. Um, and then you add another field. So you add message and then that's a text area or like a paragraph, right? And then maybe that, make that required. So message area, I don't know. And then maybe we'll make something not required. That is a upload screenshot maybe of problems. And that is a file. Boom. Oh because you can have files. Very, very, very simple form builder, okay? And again, this is unlimited forms, unlimited responses, unlimited free with mail lead through Task Magic. How freaking cool. Okay, I'm not gonna make that required. Um, screenshot upload, okay? I'm not gonna make that required though. So you can design it. So. You can change your background color. That's just like a hex. You can change the button color, but this is mail lead, so we're not going to do that. You can change the submit button text. Okay, so for well, let me quickly come here. So after you build, right? So after you build your form with your fields, okay, then you can design, which is you can change your background color, the button color, the button text, and the success message. Okay, the success message is essentially when someone fills out the form what that little message, that little simple message that they see, thanks so much for stopping by, check out taskmagic.com, something like that. So you can make that, and then you can upload a logo URL, okay? So a hosted, you know, SVG or a PNG file, um, and you'll put the link to it in there, okay? So for instance, like for us, um, we have like a Webflow site, and then we can go to assets, all right? So our logo is here. Okay, here's the, here's the black one. Okay, but this is a different one, all right? So we grab the hosted link, right, for anything. So you kind of know that. Um, and then all you have to do is come here and paste that in there, 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you one thing. So, and then this is how you share your form, okay? And one thing I wanna point out here is this. The form title is the same as the flow's title, okay? So this isn't the flow's title, this is the step name, all right? This is the flow's title, okay? So watch this. Watch how I click this. Boom, that's my, that's my form we just made. It is that easy and you can just share this link, okay? Easy peasy. All right, so now watch. If I change this, okay, here, let's exit out of that. If I change this to um, mail lead support form, boom, okay? Now I go to this quickly, boom. You see that it changed, mail lead support form, okay? And it has all my stuff here. Uh, mail lead support form, okay? Now, I can just exit out of that. And then I also have the code embed, so if you wanna embed it on your site as well, you can just click copy there, um, or copy and share this to your form, however you wanna do it. But the second thing, so that I wanna really harp on here, is after this is your, and by the way, it'll make more sense when you go home, like why it is the way it is, because if you have multiple forms, right, you'll see the name there. So that's kind of why that is, why the form name, or sorry, the flow name matches the form title, okay? So you wanna make sure that these form submissions actually go somewhere, okay? So you wanna set up an automation here to where, let's say they just go to a Google Sheet, right? Google Sheets. Okay, cool. So you just wanna make sure they go to a Google Sheet or they can go directly to Mail lead. How about that? Or they can go, they can send an email. You know, they can do whatever. Right? Each form can do that. So like, it can go to Google Sheets. It can go to your C your mail lead CRM. Right? Mail lead CRM or any other CRM. HubSpot. Okay. So you want to just make sure your form submissions go somewhere. So that's why it's really cool to kind of have this here where you can like build the form, design your form, and then share uh, share your form. Um, hopefully this makes sense. Unlimited forms, you can embed them on your site, unlimited amounts of forms, unlimited uh, form submissions, simple forms. So they are file, you can toggle things. So like make yes, no questions, things like that. Um, text area, paragraph, file uploads, and just text. So simple, but unlimited. And you have some good, but limited design changes, right? All the things you'd really want, like background color, button color, submit. So watch, if I put, if I put subscribe now, right? I don't know. If I just put that, okay? And then I go to form, boom. You'll see that it says mail support and subscribe now. So you can test your changes there. Um, by going to that. But if you want to put your logo, let's see if I have the logo here. Okay, cool. So I come here and I grab this logo, the dark logo, and I put it here. Boop. So that's the hosted link for a logo, okay? So not like a logo file, a hosted link. Um, then we click here, boom. You'll see that the your logo shows up. So your logo, whatever you want there, um, and then you should be good to go. We wanna keep this simple, right? Because it again, what do you need to get leads? You need people to fill things out, fill out forms, whatever. Simple, easy to use, that seems simple to me. And then all in one flow, you've got your form and then where those submissions go and who they alert and everything else. Again, all for free. So let me know with the power of task magic and mail lead, one right after another, yes. All right, let me know, subscribe. Start for free, go to maillead.io, start for free. Make sure to get the LTD. Um, I think some, a couple people still have it in our group. I think, Steven maybe. Okay, thanks. See you guys, subscribe to the channel as well.